what's going on everyone we got another half dollar hunt we've got another box of half dollars and we're gonna go through them and see if we can find anything interesting been getting skunked a lot on silver probably about four or five boxes now so we'll see what happens but first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open up the box and take a look and see if we've got anything good just on the enders so we'll get that set up and be right back all right, I got my box. Let's see what we got. All right, definitely circulated, which is good. Uh, what we got right here? 1973. Some new enders. I'm not seeing anything that's jumping out at me. But it's circulated and it's not all new. There are some new ones here. These are 2023s right here. So let's get going. And what I'll do is I will just stop after every 10 rolls or if I find something cool. So hopefully we got some silver in here, but we'll see what happens. All right, here we go. Roll number one. Hmm. Packed very tight. All right, that was roll number 10. Uh, no silver. We did find some coins not intended for circulation. We've got five 2018s, a 2004, and a 2020. I don't usually keep these, but I'm just gonna set them aside just to see how many I get in a box. But otherwise I'm gonna throw them back because I used to keep these and then I just don't even know what to do with them. So usually I just throw them back, which I'm gonna do with these. So we'll stop after uh, 20. See you then. All right, we're on roll number 12. And I put this bicentennial to the side because I just thought it was had a really nice mirror on it. Don't have one for my book yet. And so finally, I think we may have something later in the roll. That's super shiny. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a proof. Yes. A bicentennial proof, that's awesome. It's a little beat up. I don't know if you're gonna find a proof, that's a pretty good one. Edge didn't look real thick, but how about that? We'll take it. Really excited about that. It's going in my book for sure. Anything else in this one? It's a shiny 2023. Nope. All right. Not bad so far. Hopefully, hopefully we'll find some silver, but let's keep going. I'll stop you after at uh, roll 20. I guess I should have just done a recap. That's roll 20, uh, no silvers. We've got this sweet bicentennial proof. Uh, and then we've got what? Nine, not intended for circulation. So we'll keep on going. All right, we're halfway through the box and now we can see the layer on bottom and I don't see anything that's jumping out of me as silver but we'll go through it all, of course, and see if we get lucky. So I've been stopping after every 10 rolls, so I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm just gonna stop if we find something good and we'll just keep on going after that. So hopefully the next stop is something good. But if not, I'll see you at the end. All right, that's the end of the box. So we ended up with 20 coins not intended for circulation. But like I said before, I don't keep those. I'm actually gonna keep this 2020 right here, this Philly, because it's just a nice shape and I like it. So I don't have that one yet for my book, but all the rest of these, not intended for circulation, we're just gonna toss them back in to circulation. So what do we get? We got a really nice uh, bicentennial proof. Well, it's in rough shape, but I mean, if you're gonna find a proof, this is a good one because it's got that different design on the back that I love. So 
nice proof bicentennial and then we found uh, a couple other things i just found this other bicentennial this is a clad one or not a proof i think it's a philly but it was just really shiny and i don't have any bicentennials yet for my book i've been kind of waiting to see what comes out as i corner roll hunt so this one looks pretty good i'm gonna hold on it for a little bit and really kind of cool that i got the proof as well so you can just kind of see it's definitely a difference but this one is really shiny so i'm gonna keep it for my book and then i found a really nice 1981 denver uh, i just thought it was in really good shape it's got a really really nice edge on it you can see that it's got that that red i like on this edge here but nice edge, just a, just a coin in really good shape for my book. So I'm definitely gonna keep that, it's an 81 Denver. So no silver in this box skunked again. Uh, we got another box coming in a couple days, so we'll give it another shot. Thanks for watching and thanks for all my subscribers. I appreciate all of you and we'll see you on the next one.